Jack, that was obviously a really disappointing 90 minutes. Give us your thoughts. Yeah, I, th I think that the, ultimately the scoreline is the one that people look at, and to come down and lose that with that scoreline to dive rivals is is acceptable. It's disappointing. I don't think it's a complete reflection on the game. I think the sending off is a big turning point. But what we were was was very very poor defensively throughout the course of the 90 minutes. Um, with 11 men and with 10 men, and when, when you like that, it's going to be difficult to win matches. Middle to front, football we're okay. We'll always be okay, but defensively at the moment we aren't defending well enough. What were your thoughts on the two penalty decisions? I thought both were penalties at the time. I, some people have said to me the first one might not have been, but I think when you go to ground in the penalty box like that, I don't think Jack needs to go to ground. If you do that, you're on the risk of giving away a penalty. Something we stressed him on previous occasions, but he makes that decision. Gives you a penalty, our reaction to going to go down is very good, scored a really good goal. I think we start the second half well. I thought we looked on the front foot to start the second half and then the decision to make a challenge at the penalty box again is costly. You were quite saying there you're quite sort of frustrated with the, the defensive performance today. What do you sort of put that down to? Um as individuals and collectively not being good enough. They, they um we work a lot on, on in training and things as a back four and we've worked a lot on it because we've recognised that over the, the pre-season period in the early season I, I don't think it's been good enough for one clean sheet so far. I don't think teams score the types of goals that we score against them. Um, now, my responsibility to that as a manager will always be there but they have to have accountability as well as individuals and that performance as a back four wasn't good enough today and it, and it won't get us to where we want to be. And I'm saying things publicly that I've already said to them in there privately and, and they know that that is the case because they weren't good enough today as, as a unit. Do you think the defenders maybe gave guys like Jai Katongo and Bob McHugh maybe a wee bit too much respect today? No, I don't think too much respect. I just don't think they defended well enough. You, know, you have to have a, you have to have an understanding of the game, of course, but you have to have a desire. You have to have a recognition of what they'll do, what their strengths are. It's not like it's a shock to them because we do an enormous amount of preparation with the opposition um, in terms of what their team was going to be, how they would play. So you shouldn't take them by surprise. It's just... It's pure performance, it's nothing to do with lack of you know, giving people too much respect, it's to do with not being playing well enough individually. Obviously it's maybe a good thing that the game on Tuesday night comes about so quickly, are you happy to have that game to try and make a few changes and try and bounce back? Well, we made changes anyway, you know, the game on Tuesday we would have made changes, but what it does do is allow players to go and then um, state their place for claiming the team, especially in defensive areas, because as I, as I said earlier, middle to front, reasonably happy today. We weren't at our absolute best, but we were still OK. Um, but defensively we weren't, and that's right through the game. It's not, I'm not saying that because we conceded four goals. We were just like that in the first half. I don't think we defended well enough. And then we rely on our forwards and midfielders to go and create opportunities. We can't always do that. We have to give ourselves a platform to do it. One clean sheet at this stage isn't good enough. Um, it's something we need to rectify. And what would your message be to the supporters who travelled down here today? Well, uh, they, will, they will be incredibly disappointed because of the, the nature of losing the derby match. The numbers they, they travel in is fantastic and they deserve better than that in terms of result. I don't think there was a lack of commitment from our players, especially when they went down to 10 men. There was still an awful lot of them trying to do their utmost to get back in the game, but some of them didn't play well enough. Um, we have a duty to pay them back for that, and we will do. We will do it. It's a long season for us to put things right. I think I spoke you know, very frankly when we lost heavily down here early in my time here. I don't think that was a similar type of performance today but the scoreline was worse and the scoreline is what people look at in football so we have to take our medicine and that but we've got three opportunities a season to put that right in terms of derby matches and we've got 34 matches to put that right as in league performances started well last week disappointing today we'll respond next week at East Kilbride and Livingston